the lives of royals are usually far more dramatic than those of their subjects. Stories of rulers living opulently from the time of their birth are commonplace in history. Everything about royal life is more bizarre than anything a regular person could fathom, including royal feasts, royal marriages, and royal palaces. So it seems sense that many royal demises were as peculiar as any other aspect of the royal's life. Here are some unusual royal deaths you've probably not heard about. 1. King Alexander of Greece killed by a monkey. According to Royal Central, on October 2, 1920, King Alexander was relaxing at one of his palaces outside of Athens when he made the decision to take a stroll through the property. Fritz, his German shepherd, accompanied him. According to reports, a Barbary macaque that one of the estate's staff owned and had been allowed to go free attacked the dog. The monkey bit Alexander when he attempted to break up the altercation. Although he had two serious wounds, he was confident in his health and didn't want the audience to learn that a monkey had defeated their king. But the bites ultimately became very infected. To stop the infection from spreading, they thought about amputating his limb, but no one wanted to assume responsibility if it didn't work. Because they were so afraid of making a mistake, they essentially did nothing. That was unquestionably the wrong strategy, and 23 days after the incident the monarch passed away, supposedly as a result of a strange monkey attack but hastened by his own medical staff. 2. King George V's Lethal Injection King George V was assassinated by his doctor to satisfy a newspaper deadline, as Royal Babylon. The alarming history of European royalty so eloquently puts it. On January 20, 1936, it was clear that King George was passing away by the evening. A few days earlier, the family had gathered, and the funeral arrangements were well underway when he fell into a coma. Just a matter of time, really. But George's rather inept doctor, Lord Dawson, was concerned since he wasn't actually dead yet. If the ever-so-proper king lasted too long, it would be an etiquette disaster, according to the doctor, who wanted the announcement of the king's death to appear in the morning publications rather than the less acceptable evening journals. So Lord Dawson gave the king a cocaine and morphine injection. Everyone at the time, including the king's family, believed he had simply passed away peacefully. Not until 1986 would the murderous reality be revealed. 3. Sigurd Aistensen's killed by a dead man. Sigurd the Powerful was more royal adjacent despite his wonderful nickname, according to the lore of Scotland, a guide to Scottish legends. He had received the Orkney and Shetland Islands from his brother before being elevated to the title of Earl by King Harald Fine Hare of Norway. However, that wasn't enough for Sigurd, who later went on to take control of a large portion of mainland Scotland. Mailbright, Earl of the Scots, didn't like it since he wanted the territory for himself. Despite their mutual hatred, the two sides decided to reconcile in the year 890 AD in order to engage in civilized negotiations. That didn't go as planned. Both men showed up, but because they didn't trust one another, talks broke down and a fight started. The good news for Sigurd is that his team prevailed. Mailbright and all of his troops soon perished. To demonstrate how hard his team worked to win, Sigurd had his opponents beheaded and fastened their heads to the saddles of his troops. Unsurprisingly, Sigurd had Mailbright's head fastened to his saddle. However, Mailbright was known as Tooth because of the enormous fang that protruded from his mouth. And as Sigurd was racing along, he was wounded in the leg by that enormous teeth. Sigurd passed away once the wound grew infected. 4. King Charles of Navarre second barbecued. According to history collection, Charles had a very amorphous sense of allegiance, and during battles he would change sides to the side that would give him greater wealth and influence. He once instigated an uprising in Paris. Charles eventually paid for his immoral conduct by becoming the laughingstock of Europe. Charles had a terrible illness by 1387. He was practically immobile and confined to his bed. Critics claimed that all of his evil deeds had eventually exhausted him. The monarch was instructed to be covered from head to toe in brandy-soaked linen by his doctors. At the time, this undoubtedly made some sort of medical sense. The woman tasked with wrapping and sewing after finishing her strange task, went in search of a tool to cut the thread. Since she couldn't locate anything sharp, she decided to burn it off with a candle. Unsurprisingly, the king's alcohol-soaked bandages caught fire. Despite being terribly burned, he endured two more weeks of pain before passing away. 5. King James II of Scotland killed by his own violence. James became king in 1437 as a result of his father's assassination, according to the BBC. He was only six. The entire branch of the royal family that was accountable for the regicide was later murdered by his mother. When James was 10 years old, he went to a meeting between competing parties that resulted in a horrific massacre. James observed everything. 
James continued the brutality when he became an adult and legally assumed control. He invited the Earl of Douglas to dinner in 1452, got into a fight with him, and then stabbed him. This led to a conflict that James ultimately won. The king, however, didn't like peace, so he began to battle the English. This would be the cause of his death. According to the Stuart Society, in 1460, James and his army besieged Roxburgh Castle employing cannons, a brand new form of cutting-edge combat equipment. James was a huge lover of his expensive cannons. The monarch eventually ordered the person operating one of cannon who was sitting next to him to be fired immediately, probably to show respect for his queen who had just arrived. The king's was then split in half by the sudden explosion of the cannon, which also caused him to be struck to the ground and die at the spot. 6. King Adolf Frederick eats himself to death. According to ancient origins, King Adolf Frederick was installed as King of Sweden in 1751 by his aunt, the powerful Empress Elizabeth of Russia. But the Riksdag, the Swedish parliament, possessed actual authority, and he was mainly just a figurehead. Adolf Frederick was attempting to enjoy everything on Fat Tuesday in 1771 before having to give it up for Lent. This indicated a large traditional feast, and according to reports, Adolf Frederick consumed lobsters, caviar, sauerkraut, kippers, and champagne. Anyone would become sick just from that mixture, but the king still had room for dessert. On Fat Tuesday, Swedes customarily have semla, which is a sweet roll filled with cream. It was the only day of the year at the time that semla was served. Adolf Frederick then consumed 14 of them. Following this magnificent supper, the king complained of having stomach issues. Later that evening, he passed away and became infamous as the king who ate himself to death. 7. Edmund II's anus sliced. Horror history reports the short reign of Edmund was barely a few months long. It was a wild political situation in 1016, with many people vying to rule England. The mammoth book of British kings and queens claims that someone did not particularly enjoy the peace pact Edmund negotiated with one of his rivals. While using the restroom, Edmund might have been murdered. According to a record from the 12th century, the murderer hid underneath the toilet and waited until the monarch sat down. The assassin then thrust Edmund's bowels open by repeatedly stabbing upward with his sword. The villain left the blade lodged in the king's lower side and took off. Another historian from the same time period offers a somewhat different interpretation, claiming that no one had to wait in the feces because a crossbow was set up to shoot while the king sat on the toilet. 8. Emperor Valerian Swallows Molten Gold There were at least 20 emperors between 235 and 285 AD, according to the ancient history encyclopedia, the majority perished in war or in assassinations. One of them was Valerian, who managed to rule the extremely unsteady Roman Empire for an entire seven years before being captured by Shapur in 260. Valerian should have known what was about to happen, but Shapur delayed killing him. Shapur kept Valerian in humiliating slavery, which included using him as his horse's footstool when he needed to mount. Of course Valerian wanted to escape this awful circumstance. So, in an effort to secure his release, he proposed to raise a sizable ransom. Shapur poured molten gold down the former emperor's throat to demonstrate his contempt for wealth. That is unsurvivable. However, the humiliation persisted. Shapur had Valerian flayed after he passed away, then had his skin painted royal purple, packed with straw, and displayed in a Persian temple. During talks, Shapur used to display it to Roman ambassadors as proof of his dominance. 9. Martin of Aragon, a deadly joke. When Martin of Aragon's brother passed away without sons in 1396, Martin of Aragon's claim to the throne was tenuous at best. He was only intended to serve as regent for his niece. Martin, however, claimed the throne for himself because not everyone preferred a woman in power. Martin consumed an entire goose in 1410. As you may think, this upset his stomach considerably. The king climbed into bed and asked his jester to distract him. The jester, however, arrived late. Martin questioned the clown when he finally arrived as to why it had taken so long. He expressed regret and said, Your Majesty, I was in the next vineyard where I observed a young deer hanging by his tail from a tree, as if someone had punished him for stealing figs. Martin found it to be the funniest thing ever. He reportedly began laughing and continued doing so for three hours until finally passing out after falling out of bed. Martin may have been one of the rare individuals to pass away from laughter, but some historians believe that his indigestion was actually a warning sign of a heart attack. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to this channel. Remember to hit the bell button for easy notifications.